everyone, it's Rose, and today what I'm doing is uh, making a video in response to a viewer request to see how I store my stash. So um, this is going to be probably a bit of shaky cam since I am carrying my phone and trying to keep it as still as possible, but what the heck. So uh, what you see on my bed is um, this container that I got at Ikea. It's, it's supposed to be for under bed storage. However, none of the two beds in my house have um, are high enough off the ground for me to put it in, uh, to slide it under. So this is where I store my smaller finished diamond paintings. And I've got them in Ikea clothing storage bags, Ziploc bags, humongous ones. So those are, um, you know, the, the small ones up to about 30 by 40. And then I've got bigger ones up to about 40 by 50. And then the second over here. I have uh, two folders that have, again, bigger ones. So these one, this first folder has up to about, let's see, how big is this? Seventy by fifty fits in here nicely. And then behind it, another folder and this holds up to 60 by 90. Uh, so I've got a bunch of actually I've got quite a few 60 by 90s in here. Um, well up to about 60 by 90. Okay and then I have a my French peacock 75 by 100. I just put in a big box um, it's rolled up it's completed it's rolled up and it's in the box um, so you always have to roll your diamond paintings when they're finished with the drills out so that they don't pop off and this has not been sealed or anything like that uh, this one came from Royal Diamond Painting I finished it fairly recently and um, I do plan to to frame it but meanwhile until I frame it it's just stuck in a box on top of the other ones so that I don't forget that it's here so now I just have to push that back in there and let me just close this box up properly so that it doesn't um, accidentally slide out Okay, here we go. All right, so those are um, some of my finished ones. Okay, then closet here where I'm, I just bought, again, another IKEA storage thing and um, that I hang on the closet rail. And I've just got my little my little tiny diamond paintings, you know, mostly they're special shape things. Uh, I just pile them here and books that I've finished, like diamond paintings, journals that I've finished, um, pencil case. So, you know, if I'm going over to somebody's place, I can just come here and say, hey, I think I'll take them, you know, one of these um, as a little hostess gift or whatever. Okay, and then... Sorry for moving again, but then I have my works in progress. So um, this is the blue peacock with white feathers that I started recently. Uh, here I have the snake charmer, which I oops, which I um, am working on as well. I absolutely love this one. Uh, this one is from Cuff W Key, and um, I absolutely love everything about working on this one um so i'll be coming back to that soon ish now 
I have to move this box. So you guys know that I do a um, penny pick when I finish any one of my pro projects. And um, so I store the diamond paintings that I picked a penny or a coin for uh, here so that I know exactly what to work on next. And um, the nice thing about COVID-19 means that I don't have to be moving all this stuff off the guest bed because no guests. Um, so these are my current uh, ones that are in my uh, queue to, um, to work on. Uh, these are the big projects that are in the queue to work on. And then, oh, in the corner is just all kinds of framing supplies and pool noodles to wrap diamond paintings around and so forth. My Ikea shopping bag, because I go to Ikea to shop for diamond painting stuff all the time. Um, and then over here is uh, my storage for all of my other diamond paintings that, uh, the, for my canvases that I have yet to work on. So um, I have the file trend filing system box here and inside, oops, inside I have a number of folders that have uh, all of my different uh, large canvases, well large and small canvases in. So, um, and I go in order from, these are a little curly here, uh, let's see, so the first, the first folder is smaller diamond paintings, so these are essentially anything over 30 by, um, anything that's bigger than 30 centimeters in any dimension whether it's up and down or across, uh, goes in here. And this goes up to about 40 by 50, I think. Yeah, this goes up to about 40 by 50. And then the next folder has all my diamond paintings that are the next size up. And that goes up to about, let's see, uh, 60 by 50, yeah, 60 by 50 ish. I mean, there's different sizes in here, but that's about it. 65 by 50. I think that's about the biggest that will fit uh, in here. Yeah, I got a lot of 65 by 50s. Uh, 50 by 50. Yeah, 50. so that's about the biggest that will fit in here in, in this diamond, in this folder here. And then behind it, I have the next size of diamond painting canvases. And you see I folded back this one here just at the edge of the actual image. Um, so this will hold a diamond painting up to 50 by 70. Uh, so I've got quite a few of those in here. Uh, what is this? Oh, I didn't. I think that's 50 by 7. Usually I, uh, when I measure them, I write the measurement on there. I forgot to mark the measurement. That's not a big deal. But yeah, it looks like 50 by 70 is about the size that fits in this folder. And then I have this big, huge piece of corrugated plastic that I bought. And you see I've got cat food and extra laundry detergent, not cat food, cat litter and extra laundry detergent. It's very strategically uh, placed here because that helps to keep what's behind this from falling over. So here I have my humongous large diamond paintings. So this one here is, uh, what size is this? This is 150 by 100. And then down again behind that corrugated plastic. I have another one of these uh, trend file and save. Oh, look at that. Um, one of my stickers fell off the diamond painting. Um, 
So here I have my larger diamond paintings, everything that's over about uh, 70 centimeters, um, either 70 centimeters high or more than 60 centimeters wide um, fits in here because uh, it won't fit in the trend file system box. The box will only hold, like the, the folders in there will only hold paintings up where the largest dimension is uh, 65, I think, 70. Uh, 70. So this holds diamond paintings that are up to 70 centimeters wide and uh, 60, no, 50 centimeters high. This holds everything else except for the great big humongous 100 by uh, 150 that I've got behind it. And, um, and the reason I've got it behind this piece of plastic is I don't want them to curl, un curl over. So that plastic just prevents them from curling because I like to store all my diamond plate paintings flat. So, um, so there you go. And I'll be doing videos with, to go through each one of these folders individually. I think I've done my small ones already. Uh, and I just have to do all the others, which is most of them. Um, so yeah, so that's, uh, that's how I store. There we go. That's how, geez. that's how I store my, um, canvases. And I'm just going to fix this up a little bit. I'll stop the, uh, the filming and I'll fix this up a little bit because I, you see how it's starting to curl a little bit. I want to clip it better onto the, um, the big piece of plastic so that it's actually hanging and not going to curl over. So the so last I place where I store diamond painting canvases is this little bag and this um, is for my really small diamond painting canvases. So these are all my whips, uh, not my whips, but my stash of um, tiny canvases. So, um, yeah, so when I do a penny pick, they either come from here or they come from uh, that first folder in the trend filing box that had um, smaller diamond paintings. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, there's, I have no idea how many there are here. Uh, I'm just going to pause and count them. Okay, so there are 59 diamond paintings here, um, which is quite a few. <laughs> Even though they're small, uh, it's gonna take me a while to, uh, to finish all of these. Uh, th that is how, so that is how I store my stash of diamond painting canvases. Now I'll show you how I store my stash of other stuff. So uh, the next thing I'm gonna show you then is, um, I'll show you my spare drills and then I'll show you my okay, so drills and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so here I have um, some of my leftover drills uh, and I keep them organized. So I've got, I think, three boxes of extra square drills um, and I've got, I think, two boxes so far of extra round drills and what I do is I put them in envelopes um, according to DMC number so I can easily find all of my uh, you know if I'm looking for a color I can easily find it and um, and then I just uh, like I, I just change the numbering on the envelope if I need to like if an envelope gets over full then I just add another envelope uh, in there uh, and split one envelope into two. Uh, so I have, you know, probably two or three envelopes full of three tens and all kinds of other stuff. So those are some of my leftover drills. Okay, so here what I have is um, a sorting exercise for leftover drills that's in progress. So what I've, like I'm sorting crystal drills right now. 
So I put colors of the same family into a, a single bag. So this this is from you know probably ten different kits that uh, that I finished recently. And so these are all the blues, and then I've got greens, and then I got clear, and I got yellows, and all that. And then what I do is I match them up using the DMC uh, color chart that uh, that I got. Uh, this is where I keep my diamond paintings. Again, it's a good thing that there's COVID because otherwise I'd have to find another space for my unopened diamond painting packages. So I've still got, I think, three Blushing Blackbird Crystal Drill diamond paintings to unbox. Uh, I have two Diamond Art Club in here to unbox. I have about 50 um fan cells in here to uh unbag um here uh is sort of my on the go for diamond painting kits for my small fan cells projects like anything that's like a weekend project that i do a penny pick for as, a, as opposed to a quarter or a nickel pick um I'm putting in here as I unbox them because, as you'll see, my storage is going a little crazy. Uh, and again, just because I don't feel like walking back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Uh, here I have the, um, the kits, the tool kits, from the ones that I've unboxed. Uh, these go with this and others. Anyway, every now and again when I fill up a bag, I spend an hour or so sorting the kits and like breaking them up and putting all the drill pens together and all the tips together, like all the multi-placer tips together and putting all the wax into a separate, you know, little baggie and all of that stuff. And then over here uh, is my table that I'm using. Like I put it in my front window. Today's not a good day because it's raining. Um, but on sunny days, when I feel like it, uh, I will uh, sort my drills and um, for my leftover projects. So what I have here, this is where I keep my special shaped drills and my AB drills. And then uh, here uh, is my first box of extra rounds. And then below it is my second box of extra rounds. Uh, this is just bags and labels and all that stuff. And just a minute, I gotta put you down for a second while I to show you the um, the crystal book. Okay, so what I have here is just a five star notebook that I got at um, Value Village, and for ninety nine cents instead of paying like fifteen bucks for it. And here's my DMC color card. Now I also have the DMC. Uh, color chart book from DP Diamond Painting for uh, 911. Um, I don't use that too much, although I do find it useful for some things. But this is my official color chart, and that when I'm sorting drills, that's what I use is the official color chart. Um, and I keep track of the different DMC colors of drills that I have. I have to move those color charts for a sec. Um, so I tick them off as I go along as I, you know, get a new color of crystal drills. I tick it off on my shopper's checklist. And then what I've done is I have trading bag, um, or trading card, uh, pockets, uh, that I stick the colors of drill in. And what I do is column one means color, column one on the DMC uh, color chart. So uh, the first section is all of those pinks and reds and stuff like that. So right now um, I need to add, like I have, I think some extra, yeah, I have extra, extra uh, pockets at the back. Uh, I just have to start adding more pockets in here uh, for each column because I'm starting to get like multiple colors that I'm sticking in some of these bags. Um, but that helps me to find um, the color 
the exact color of drill that I want if I ever run out of crystal drills. And I haven't yet run out of crystal drills, so, um, so I haven't actually had to use this yet, but someday I will. And so here I've reserved some space for the top part of that column because I don't have that many pinks yet. Um, anyway, so so that's uh, that's how I store my crystal drills, uh, the leftovers. And um, of course, as I as I do a diamond painting, I get more and more. Um, drills uh, of different colors so these pockets will start filling up with other DMC colors and it I just find it easy this way to color match drills um, now I might have to go to a different system if I start you know once I start doing more and more of my crystal drill diamond paintings I think that this doesn't really work if you have large quantities of drills and then in that case, I might start going to uh, either a tic-tac container system or, um, you know, going to, you know, that kind of shoebox storage system uh, using the envelopes that I, I've done for the, for the round and the squares. So now I'm going to pause while I take you over to another part of the condo and show you all of my uh, drills for my stash. Okay, so um, over on my dining room table, which is very, very close to my work uh, table, which is a big drafting table, uh, I, on the edge of the dining room table, what I do is I store uh, the upcoming projects. So when I do a penny pick or a coin pick, um, I pull the drills and I pull the canvas, I put the canvas uh, on the bed in the pile that I showed you, and I put the drills for the upcoming canvases here on the table. Uh, there's a plastic cover on the table because I have a cat and this is where she eats because I have a dog and otherwise my cat would not have a chance to eat because the dog loves cat food. Uh, anyway, so, um, like I hate the plastic cover, but yeah, it's the only way to protect my table. Um, and protect my cat from starving. Uh, so these are my three upcoming large projects and I haven't started any of them yet. I haven't kitted them up yet. Uh, usually I don't kit up a project until right before I start to work on it. So I think the next one that I do will be this uh, this bear. Um, and, or maybe that one. I haven't done... I might do the, the stained glass uh, butterfly. Anyway, we'll see. I haven't decided. Um, so, yeah, so that's where I keep my upcoming projects. And then, of course, this is my work table, which you guys have seen many, many times. And uh, right now I'm working on the stained glass rose. I'm almost finished it. I will be finishing this today. I'm on the very last strip, probably about six, five inches, something like that. Um, and it came already... Uh, kit it up in bags. So all I do is I just, you know, cut up, looks like breakfast bars, the box from breakfast bars to stiffen up the bags so that they don't flop over and I stick them in my cat food container. Um, and so that's, uh, that's that one all kitted up. Now in my little caddy beside my work table, I have other projects. So this is, uh, you can't really see, but in here, each one of these trays has a different color uh, for that snake charmer picture that is uh, in progress. And so um, this way, I don't have to be opening containers if I you know, find I missed a drill somewhere. I can just like have all of the colors in trays on my work table at once. And, um, and so it's easy to get colors. And then this is the container that has uh, all of the rest of the drills for that snake charmer picture. And finally, uh, to show you how I store my drills 
for all of my works in progress. And I'm sorry, the uh, spin cycle on the washer is going. That's what you hear in the background. Um, but I thought if I don't make this video today, who knows when I'm going to make it. Uh, and I did, uh, I did want to do it. So these are all of my uh, drills for all of my other projects that I haven't worked on. Um, they're not in any particular order. Uh, and so one of the projects that I want to do, uh, not today, but maybe uh, later this week, will be to actually inventory what's in each box. Because when I pick a coin, I usually have a good sense of which one of my containers they're in, which one of the tubs they're in, but I don't always know. So uh, just to make that faster, I'll add a column to my spreadsheet that I keep track of all the information about all my diamond paintings and um, and uh, and I'll just identify which tub they're in and then I will be able to um, find my my drills that much faster and know exactly where things are uh, so um, yeah I find I use a lot of these uh, bedding container bags to put the drills for little diamond paintings in. Uh, like this tub here is pretty much dedicated to small diamond paintings. So these are things that I would uh, get during a penny pick. Oh look, I've got a drill. Oh no, that's not a drill, that's crap. Okay, um, this is mostly small diamond paintings. Uh, you know, this one here is 50 by 50. That's on the, you know, the larger end of small, but um, but most of them are, are, you know, Peggy buys and fan cells and things like that. So uh, they're small. And uh, then I have my tubs that have the bigger kits. The, the really big kits I tend to put in the box down at the bottom. Um, and these two boxes here. Uh, so, you know, we, that's a 50 by 70. I wouldn't say that's huge, but it's a it's on the larger side of my diamond paintings. So the those tubs tend to hold my bigger tub, my bigger diamond paintings. I put my little tiny diamond paintings in here. This is a well, this is little tiny diamond paintings. And then here I have bigger diamond paintings. Um, 60 by 90, etc. 60 by 60. Um, and then finally, because I was running out of space and I didn't feel like buying more storage, uh, I'm just using an old Amazon box and this is where I'm storing um, pencil boxes and wristlets. Oh, this one's done. I can take that one out and put it where it belongs. Um, oh, that one's done too. Okay. Huh. All right. Um, so this is where I store my un finish uh, pencil boxes and notebooks and so forth and you haven't yet seen all of the unboxing videos for these because I'm so far behind posting unboxing videos um, but uh, but you'll see them they're they're coming up in the next few months and uh, yeah so that's it that's how I store my stuff oh and then in the corner uh, like my condo I would have organized it differently if I had been a diamond painter when I moved in, but I wasn't. And so now I just put stuff wherever it fits. So I'm storing some of my boxes, like I throw away most of my boxes and, and tubes, uh, but I'm storing some of my boxes and tubes just here because there's literally no room in the spare bedroom. The closet is packed, under the bed is like full of stuff. Um, and I don't want to move it out of my condo uh, into my storage locker downstairs because I would never, like I try not to go down there very often. Anyway, so that's just uh, my other stuff. So, um, for those of you who were interested in knowing how does she store all this stuff, it's not pretty, but this is how I store all my stuff. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to all my patrons. Thank you to all of my viewers and subscribers and I hope you come back and visit with me again soon. Take care everybody.
Bye-bye.